Chords have special relationships to the center of circles as well as the central angles. Warning, there are some congruent triangles ahead. Our first theorem for this video is the equidistant chords theorem. It states within a circle or in congruent circles, chords equidistant from the center, or the centers, are congruent. So what that means is if segment OE and segment OF are congruent, then the chords that are equidistant, segment AB and segment CD, will also be congruent. Now instead of just doing a quick side proof here, I'm going to actually do this proof from scratch. Now we're given that the chords AB and CD are equidistant from the circle. That's what the segment OE is congruent to segment OF is all about. So of course that's given. Another thing that we need to know is that segment OE is perpendicular to AB as well as OF to CD. And that's the definition of distance from a point to a line. The distance from a point to the line is the shortest distance and therefore it has to be the perpendicular distance. Now, I'm going to add some auxiliary lines to all of this, that is, the radii that are involved here. And of course, since they are all radii, they are all congruent to each other by simple definition of a circle. Now let's go back to this idea of perpendicular. We know that angle AEO and CFO are right angles by the definition of perpendicular. And therefore, triangle AEO and CFO are congruent because if you notice, they're right angles and the hypotenuses are congruent to each other and so are a pair of legs. So by the hypotenuse leg theorem. Now that we know that, we know that angle C is congruent to angle A because the definition of congruent polygons, also known as corresponding parts of congruent triangles, are congruent, CPCTC. We also know that angle A is congruent to angle B, and angle C is congruent to angle D because of the isosceles triangle theorem. The radii are congruent, making the big triangles isosceles, angles A, B, C, D congruent. So angle B is congruent to angle D by the substitution property of equality, substituting B and D into the statement in step 6. And therefore, angle AOB is congruent to angle COD. Those are the central angles up there without the yellow lines. Because of the triangle third angles theorem. Oh, wait a minute. We have central angles that are congruent. That means that the chords are congruent by the congruent central angles and chords theorem. Okay, so this was not a short little proof, so I decided to go through it with you. The next proof also uses this idea of right triangles, so hopefully this will give you a small understanding and we can rush through that proof. Of course, the converse is also true. Within a circle or within congruent circles, congruent chords are equidistant from the center or centers. So here we have chords A, B, and C, D, and they are congruent. So that means that segment OE and segment OF will also be congruent. Again, I'm going to try and speed through this proof. Oh, look, we have radii of a circle that are congruent. Because the chords are congruent, and the triangles are congruent by side, 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 and because of that, the corresponding parts, angle A and angle C, are congruent. And so now let's look at these two right triangles, the distance from O to segment AB and the distance from O to segment DC. Uh, so we have right angles, and lo and behold, we have two triangles that are congruent by angle, angle, side. And because those two triangles are congruent, then segment OE is congruent to segment OF. So let's try it. What is the length of segment CD? Well, you will notice that segment OE bisects segment AB, and so segment BE will be the same as segment AB. Now that tells us that segment AB is 22 by the segment addition postulate. You will also notice that segment OE and segment OF are both 8 units long. So the two chords are equidistant from the center of the circle. Because of the right angles, we know that that is the distance from the center to the chords. And so segment CD has to be the same length as segment AB. 
A very simple theorem to apply. The important thing is that the segment going from the center to the chord is perpendicular. If it's not perpendicular, then it's not the distance, so we can't apply these theorems.